What a second video in a day? It is the Halloween Island. I, you know, I think I might have played this last year. It's Halloween and a giant mask Kuba is haunting this island. Go defeat it. I, I think. I think I might have played this last year. Um, and the reason I'm saying might have is I remember this. But I don't remember if I played it on Halloween or if it came out directly after Halloween. And I kind of, kind of vaguely remember it as a, um, a demo. But it does not say demo anymore. So I'm wondering if it was a demo and then uh, Focus moved on to other projects. And because there was, I wouldn't say substantial uh, content. I will, I will say just content in general because it is a one world hack um, that uh, it was released as a standalone by itself feature. And you know, it happens and that's fine. And there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. If the creator got busy with something else, doing something else, and decided, you know what? I'm going to focus on that and maybe just do a simple update to remove, like, demo end and maybe add, like, a level or something for a proper end. Th you know, that's... It works. It works for me. So I'm not even gonna... I'm not gonna... Not, not, not gonna... Not gonna sweat it. Not gonna bat an eye. I am just gonna go. That something glitched right there, and I'm not quite sure what. And it was odd. It didn't feel right. But let's go. Bouncy shrooms. Yeah, I, I just, I vaguely remember this. I do. I vaguely remember this. The orange mushrooms are bouncy, but the black mushrooms are not. Yeah, I, I, I remember this. But again, like I mentioned, I don't know. I do not remember if I played this on my own to like test it out because it was released directly after Halloween or if I played it during Halloween the last year. Um, and the reason for that is, even though if you look at the hack page, it says 2020 on it, uh, this was updated and was like originally released in 2018. So that is where the logic is coming from. I do like the fact I have some feathers. I don't know. I don't know. Um, fire flowers, still not, still not as useful as uh, the the flower or the feather, in my opinion. It's just not. Maybe, maybe if there was a reason, maybe if there was a reason to have the fire flower like ice blocks or something where it would make traversing easier. There might be a point in keeping it. For now though, no real, no real point. The guy makes me sad because having multiple power-ups in a Mario game is just, it's fun. It's fun using like higher tier ones so, let's say the ice flower fudging frick. Um, ice flower versus, you know, uh, penguin suit. Or the raccoon leaf versus the tanuki suit. Like, that would be good. Also, right here, I would like to point out, there is, there is a function for the fire flower in this level. 
And that would be Hammer Bros. Because I hate them. Also, it's kind of <laughs> kind of awkward where it's like, oh, last level, yellow or yellow, orange mushrooms are bouncy. This level, they are they are normal. Also, there's yellow switch blocks everywhere. And I have yet to see a yellow block. So said yellow block, yellow switch. No yellow switch for me. That's okay, I guess. Cause what else am I gonna do? Um Mm, what is what is in this box? A coin! Of course. But you know, not having to really worry about hammer bros is nice. It's very nice. It's quite enjoyable not having to worry about them. I, I like that. It's a red level. It's red! Again. Yellow block. <gasps> it's the... I hate them. They're not even that bad. They're, they're really not. I just do not like them. They are land dwelling... Land dwelling rip and fish. Should have ducked. Should have ducked. Ooh. Okay, so I can, I can take him out with a cape, which is good to know, because my nose is starting to run, and I really, really hate that. Yay for allergies that are honestly not as bad as they could be, but uh, allergies nonetheless. Is this a secret? It is. Farging. Farge. Oh, thank you for the power up. That was most kind. Well, there's the yellow switch. Kind of, kind of odd. And I, I've brought this up many times in, like, other playthroughs of games. The reason I find it odd for the yellow switch to be later in the hack, or game, or whatever, is when the levels give you yellow blocks in like earlier levels unless they're needed to complete a puzzle or uh, to get a secret exit you know something unless they're they're really used for something it's just kind of odd having the block later and like switch blocks earlier because you're not gonna go back very rarely very very rarely do hacks really have replayable early game levels like this one there is there is no reason there's no reason for me to go back Everything pointed to the yellow blocks being completely optional, uh, being non, you know, non-mandatory. And so I'm sitting here like, is it, is it worth going back and checking them out? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it at all. So it's like, why would I take my time? Why would I take my time to try and backtrack and explore earlier levels when there's really no no need for it? Fudge. 
Uh, I tried to duck jump and I duck jumped too high. <laughs> that was a simple, I didn't even need to do what I did because I could have gone down and I could have made a bridge. It was very, very obvious what it wanted me to do. Uh, but I ignored it. I ignored what it wanted me to do. Oh well. Oh well. Dad! I forgot. I forgot those gravestones said, like, they all say dad. Dad, he died over and over. Or stepdad. Multiple, multiple stepdads. Or multiple dads. What did Sil- No, it'd be a stepdad, right? You have two dads, and one dies, or divorces, or whatever, and you get a new dad. You get two new dads. So you have four dads. It would- it would be- it, you would have two stepdads. That'd be- Oh, the- the dad jokes. The mass amounts of dad jokes that would happen. That would be- that- that is the only downside. That is the only downside to four dads having that many dad jokes. Wow. Just imagine that. Imagine having just four times the amount of dad jokes you normally would have instead of just a standard two times. Nope, you have four times. Being like, I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm dead. No, stop that. And then, but is it like dad and, and dad? Or is it dad and dad too? Probably just dad and dad. That would fudge. That Chuck. That Chuck. Uh, I should have just waited for the bullet bill. That is what I should have done. But at least, at least I can get dual power-ups right here. Okay. There we go. It's not, it's not, that, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. There we go. Perfect! And I can just go frick. I kind of had a feeling that was gonna happen, like, I was gonna get hurt on that because munchers have kind of a odd hitbox where they're not they're not perfectly square you have to be like a pixel inside of them to actually take damage so if you're like up against a wall like let's just say I jump like that and don't hold forward I will fall right next to a muncher without taking damage but if I press forward at all, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna call shenanigans on this jump because that is that is a ridiculous jump. Like look at that, and it's all because that little tiny tiny slope is really hard to stay on. That was my shenanigan for the day. Also. I did not need the angel platform. Didn't need it. Didn't need it at all. One single bit. So, we will move on forward. Down here. On off house. I think this one was... Yeah, I remember this one. I remember this. I don't know if... Oh, you know what? I think, if I remember right, I found like an oddity or something with this, this hack. And I even brought it up to the hack's creator. Like in his thread. I think that's why I remember it. But you know what? I'm I'm okay replaying this. And the reason I'm okay replaying this is the fact that 
Like, uh, there, there is parts of this I don't, I probably don't remember or recognize because I think it did get slightly changed and it did get updated and it did in fact go from being like a demo to being just this game. So uh, that's neat. Ah, power up. There we go. And move forward. Because I think one of the original problems that this hack had, if I remember right, is the fact that you could easily, like super, super easily, get yourself trapped if you did it wrong. And I, I think that, like was taken away so you you don't actually get yourself trapped anywhere anymore which is actually like really nice because players getting themselves trapped uh for really like not their own fault is pretty bad so that's okay so i just need I need needed to wait until that was up pretty high. But there we go. There we go. It is done. Yeah, I think I found something in this that was like, oh, that's really weird. I should point that out. And I did. I think it was this one anyway. Koopa's Castle. Leave, yeah, I remember. I remember the unknown. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can still read those. Ooh, that's a smashy smashy. I was I was not prepared for that. I, I didn't even think I was in the middle of it. I thought I was like off to the edge. Leave. I cannot unknown. I cannot. Ooh, this is this is getting a little a little dicey. I I will admit, not fully being able to see the smasher until it's like about ready to smash down on you is actually kind of clever because it forces you to really really choose a path. You either go back to the uh, left edge or you go to the right edge because the smasher will always be semi-centered and you have to look at fudge you have to look at your environment like this it, it was safe to sit back but some of those other portions earlier it was actually not safe to sit back like this I would probably be crushed if I sat backwards Okay, I'm calling shenanigans here because that was, um, I, I have to sit back. <laughs> I didn't even like, like that. Yeah, that would have been, I mean, it's a legitimate death. That would have been because I did not read the level correctly. I chose forward, kind of a leap of faith because I was a little bit. A little bit I was thinking I need to like jump onto that sign so that that is where my thinking came from and why I like went forward instead of backwards but uh, you can you can clearly see it was the wrong choice Ooh, saw that almost too late Yeah, so these signs are. I should I should have known they were. Um, you just passed through them. Like I I should have known that because 
even up until that point, all the signs you could just pass through. So I should have realized that, but in my mind, standing on the sign made perfect sense. It did. And I don't really regret the decision I made because I made it with the best intentions. But, uh, yeah, I think this, I think this level got extended a little bit. I do. I think it got extended a little bit. But we will go. I also don't remember. Maybe, maybe there was a yellow switch. I, I don't fully remember a yellow switch. I'm thinking maybe it was like a bonus level but I'm also thinking I'm like remembering wrong so we will just go forward and fight the mass Koopa at least the mass Koopa is not it's not too too terrible and I don't remember if this is just the normal Koopa Sprite, or if it legitimately is, like, a different Sprite. Go, fireballs! Pop. Ugh, not what I wanted. How dare you throw your children at me, and then do that. Frick! I don't know. I like it when it's the blue one because that's actually <laughs> really easy to deal with. Mass Koopa or normal Koopa. I, I don't know. It's not really a bad boss. It's fairly reliable, fairly consistent. It's only the like normal red, yellow, blue, and green. So it's not too bad. I think in the original version of the Mass Koopa, the green one when it jumped off the ground would cause the earthquake instead of landing. And that made it like really frustrating because it was really hard to tell when it was going to jump. But uh, that's the only thing I can think of. Feel free to visit to rest here. It's raining, but it's raining there. It's raining here too. What? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm just a little bit confused. Anyway, that was uh, Halloween Island. I want to say maybe the game had a different name um, last year, but uh, don't know. <laughs> 